Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how we can add an absorption file in SCAPS from external sources. So, uh, of course, we know that an, uh, optical absorption plays a very important part in the performance of a solar cell. So, in SCAPS, they give us op option so that we can provide a absorption file from external sources so this is how it is done so suppose uh, in my solar cell there is a layer which is germanium and i have give, given all the parameters but here comes the to how i have to set the absorption file so there are two options so one is i can give from external source and either i can take uh, from models so today i'll not discuss about the models today i will only discuss about how we can set this absorption model from an external source so to do that first thing you have to do is that you have to find an external source from where you can uh, you want to collect your absorption file so it may be your practical work or you you may take it from any uh, any other work you know, which you want to refer in your uh, research. So suppose I have collected the absorption coefficient of germanium from this work. So the reference is shown here. So I first what I have to do is that I have to uh, collect this uh, data from uh, this uh, figure. So I have collected this data from this figure and the data somehow look like this. But first, uh, take a look here. In the data, uh, the x-axis is in nanometer and the y-axis, uh, that is the absorption coefficient, is in per centimeter. What you have to remember while processing this data is that in SCAPS, uh, the absorption coefficient must be in per meter and the uh, wavelength will be in nanometer. So here the wavelength is very fine, but the absorption coefficient is not. So we have to process it. So as the absorption coefficient uh, need to be modified and the wavelength is quite okay here. So first uh, just keep the wavelength the way it is because it is in nanometer. So we don't have to do much about it. There is no post-processing needed. But for the absorption coefficient, here if from the uh, figure, we have found the absorption coefficient is in per centimeter. But for to give SCAPS input data, the default is per meter. That is in SI unit of absorption coefficient. So we have to multiply it with 100. So here it is. Okay, done. So next thing, what you have to do is very plain and simple. Just um, take a copy of this data. So I have just copied the data and take to any place where you would like to copy it. Suppose, um, where should I take it? Um, suppose here, this is a good option where I can take it or I can take it here, I guess. So just take, um, uh, let's take uh, what, uh, a text file. So let's take a text file and just paste the data. Yes. So now this is important that when you are saving this data, put save as and uh, put any name suppose this is germanium then it is something you uh, you can put the reference name it's very important so that you may find it uh, later on so suppose uh, i have taken it from a paper suppose the paper is a and uh, it is uh, suppose a so that i can find it easily now what is important here is that if you put in text file uh, there is no problem but still it's better to convert it to abs file because uh, <clears throat> it's better. It, it becomes more readable by uh, scaps. But still, I have used text file for my couple of simulations and I really didn't uh, um, I find any difficulties there. So, just I want to convert it to apps file. So, now it is converted to apps file. So, save it here or any places. Uh, so, I'm saving it here. 
file. Now, what do you have to do? You have to include this F file in the C drive, default drive, where you have um, installed your application. So I have installed my application here. Uh, come, 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 where is my scaps? So here is my scaps. Now here is my absorption. Now just paste your um, <clears throat> uh, just processed file here, apps file here. So it requests permission. So yes, now this is the apps file. To include it in uh, scaps, it's very plain and simple. Just you have to set it either from model or either from file. So when you are taking it from file, it will ask you to give that file. So you will just come here and find it out your file your file was germanium a that is my file is germanium a so this is germanium a now just select it done now you can work with it so this is the way how uh, very easily you can export some um, external absorption file or absorption data into your SCAPS program. But there are certain issues that you need to remember that I will discuss in some other videos. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.